Good afternoon, everybody. It's Nicole from Crafty Craft Corner. I have here a picture frame that I picked up from the dollar store with the sparkly background. I have letters here that um, I scuffed up a little bit and I painted black. So the letters are actually part black and part red. And what we're going to do is glue them down onto this platform before we add any resin. These letters are made out of resin. Um, I used a resin mold that had letters. They're about three inches or so. Um, so you can pick the letters that you want to want to use. And again, this is the finished product of one that I already did, but I'm showing you this one from scratch. So what we are going to do is take some Gorilla Glue, which is this right here. And I'm going to mix it in a special little plastic cup here. And you want to make sure you're wearing gloves because you do not want to get this on yourself. So I will go ahead and squeeze this in here. And I'll turn it around because you have to mix it. There we go. And then once that is on there, you are going to take one of your tools, the tool that you have. So what we're gonna do is mix it up, get it real tacky. The first letter of this person's name is Angel. This is made to order custom for someone. So you take the back of your layer, and what you're going to do is go ahead and put the glue on the back of the letter. So what I do this for, I'm going to be pouring resin over the whole thing, but when I'm doing this, I'm doing it because I want the letters to ensure the stickiness. I want to make sure that they stick to this, this mat. So. We're going to start here and just push down. And we're going to do this with the same of every single letter. So I won't bore you with this. I'm just going to pause the video and um, I'm going to continue gluing each of the letters down and I will be back with you momentarily. So I just wanted to come back and show you that so far we've got one of the names done. And I'm working on the bottom now. And I created a cute heart instead of an and sign. So we are going to put that on the bottom with the female's name. I will be back after I glue these down as well. Okay, so we're on the last letter. I'm gluing it now. Show you here. Like I said, I used the Gorilla Epoxy Steel Glue, so it's made for epoxy to ensure that these letters are going to stick. Um, you don't need a lot of glue. Um, I apply, I guess, maybe a pretty generous amount, but really um, you have to work pretty fast with it because it dries within five minutes. So. We'll put that off to the side. I'm done. Put the last letter on and just push it down. So now what we're going to do is decorate. And what I chose for this was going to be red. I can just figure out how to open this. Okay. So what I do for that though, I'm actually gonna pour some resin. So right now I'm just getting done stirring up my resin. 
been almost three minutes now. And then, before I pour it, I'm going to take my heat gun to it. Just so it pours a little bit nicer and we can get the beads to go in there just right. Okay, grab my heat gun. A little hot air in here. I love my heat gun. It's got the temperature on it. I can control the speed. It's a great heat gun. Alright, now what we're going to do is pour some of this resin into my mold here. Not really my mold, but on the corner edges of this frame. Because what we're going to do is decorate. So we'll do the top first. So I have here some black rocks that I rinsed out. Sorry about that blower motor in the back. If you guys can hear that, I apologize. I do want to get out that yellow rock. Though. I don't know how that's going to be. Well, now it's hidden in the thing, so that works. Alright, now that I put the black down, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the red down. Just so it matches. So we'll just do a little bit. Kind of hard to control these things. Let me turn the frame here. See if I can get a better manage on it. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now we'll screw this out a little bit. Almost just like the red myself. But now what we'll do is we'll pour along the side here. Okay. Get a little bit of black rocks. And as you can see, I'm only doing a little bit of the black rocks because you really can't see them with the background. Um, and I knew that was going to happen, but I didn't want to use any of the colors other than what the letters were. So now let's go ahead and pour some of the red in. Some more over here. Turn it again, and we will, this is getting very resonated because it's leaking out the bottom, I see, which is all right, but, all right, now, all resins will dry. 
black wraps. Okay, and we're going to charm this again and use more resin. Be very careful on the side of the A here. More black now. So I'm going to show you uh, what we're going to do after we finish the side with the black rocks and the red. Um, we're gonna be decorating the inside of it. Uh, now it's not just for decoration, what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to basically ensure that my letters are not gonna come off of this frame and that it's durable and sturdy for the new owner when it gets there. So, what we're going to do, I just want to flip it around like this. All right, now we are going to sprinkle in some of these red beads into the um, right in between here just so we can decorate it a little bit there. Get some more color. Oh, I don't want them on the letters. All right, now I think I'm gonna take my gloves off so I can work a little bit better because resin there all over my gloves and I don't want to mess up these letters so so now what we're gonna do oh we are out of the red now we're gonna go ahead and pour in the rest of the resin just so everything stays together. Carefully pouring this in, trying not to hit any of the tops of the letters here. Trying to be very careful with my pour. over here. Well, again, this ensures that these letters are not going to fall off and everything is going to just coat itself very nicely. We'll just move the frame a little bit 
so it gets everywhere. And then we will let this sit for, I would say, 12 to 24 hours. And she will be done. Finished our project. You can email me at craftycraftcorner at gmail.com. So that's C, crafty, and then K, craft, corner, with a C, at gmail.com. And I'll put that on the bottom of the video for you as well. It's great seeing you guys today and enjoy yourselves. And I will be back tomorrow.